What's up viewers, this is Mokley Playground and today we are back at ground zero. We will be making anhydrous aluminum chloride. Now, anhydrous aluminum chloride is a very powerful Lewis acid. It can catalyze the friedel crafts alkylation, acylation, it could also do the ene reaction and a diase auto reaction. But in order to make it anhydrously, we're going to be working in dangerous conditions. That includes making chlorine gas. So, let's get started. To make anhydrous aluminum chloride, you'll need the following ingredients. Muric acid, a beaker, baking soda, pool tablets, a rag, and powdered aluminum. So first, we have to be safe. So I'm going to make a little um, a chlorine resistant rag. I'm going to put on some baking soda, and then I'm going to put some water on it. This will absorb chlorine better if, if I just have it out in the open. So we're going to put that aside. Next, what we're going to do is put in our um, aluminum powder. It is very important that you have a container resistant to acid. Next, we're going to put in our pool tablet. However, we can't put it in whole. You have to beat it a few times. After doing so, you'll feel that it's kind of powdery and chunky. You don't need all of it, just use some of it. It's plenty of strength. Okay. Now let's... let's, let's. Oh, we already got some chlorine gas going. All right. Next, you want to put on your rag? All right, seal it, seal it a little bit, right? And then get your muric acid ready. We have to work quick about this because the chlorine gas will get overwhelming fast. 200 should do the trick. Putting in some extra just in case. It's never about to have excess. Now, to make the chlorine gas, you have to be really fast about this. The aluminum powder is already in there. There's already some pool tablets in here too. So we're gonna pour it really fast, and then we're gonna seal it super fast. So let's get started. Do you see how fast that was? If you, if you take too long, then the chlorine gas will overwhelm you and then you ruin everything. So, after you seal it right, you have to seal it very shut. And then after you seal it shut, after you think you've sealed it shut very well, you want to drape this over it. Your sodium bicarbonate towel. You want to put some more sodium bicarbonate around it. Right? Then you want to put some water on it too. Try to get the sides really well. Then after you do that, you're going to let this guy sit for about three or four days. That way the chlorine gas will be thoroughly absorbed into the aluminum powder. And then, um, yeah, we'll check back in three or four days. So it's been three days since we've reacted our aluminum with the chlorine gas. So now we're going to see what happened to it. Already, the chlorine has bleached the top of it because it was very blue, as you saw previously, and now it's kind of this brownish, hazy sort of look. So, before we look inside, make sure you have a mask on in case there's still some remaining chlorine that hasn't reacted. And let's see what's inside. As you can see, our, we have a lot of aluminum chloride, but we also have some gloopy stuff. Now, I suspect that the water in the muriatic acid had reacted with this, since aluminum chloride is a very good, is very hyperscopic. But how do we know for sure we have aluminum chloride? This could be just a mix of sulfur and aluminum powder. Well, we should test. 
or it's already a little scoopy. And by the way, aluminum chloride does melt through plastic, as you can see by the spoon. Now we're gonna put a little bit in this water. It's already sticking to it. It's already it's already starting to eat it, right? We're gonna put a little bit into that water. Swirl it really good, and then we're gonna get a pH strip. Already, the, the contaminants of my glove show it's acidic, it's red. That means aluminum chloride, if it reacts with water, it produces aluminum hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. And we just pour on some like so. It turns the pH strip orange and red. And if we react it directly with the gel, it becomes more red. That's how we know we have, we made aluminum chloride. Now, once again, you can use this for many types of reactions, such as the friedel crafts reaction, the Ene reaction, as it is a very powerful Lewis acid. Now, if you wanna store this in a more convenient container, you should use a, one that is made out of glass or Teflon, as it can eat through plastic, as seen by my spoon. So, I highly don't recommend you use a water bottle, dried out, or um, uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene, any sort of plastic like that, as you risk that you might damage your plastic and you get a molten plasticky mess that you're gonna have to discard. And um, also, keep away from water too, as it's already sucking in some water, as you can see by the green sludge. Oh, and it is very important that you do not throw this away like this. You have to neutralize it first. It is very, is extremely corrosive. And also be safe while you're working with this as it can also damage, it can also burn you. It can damage your skin, it can burn your eyes and stuff. It has no smell though. No smell, yeah. But uh, yeah, be pre pre take safety precautions. Thank you.